Hi there. Today we're talking about time patterns. So what we're going to do is use what we know about time and patterns and help us find missing times. So our first question says, choose the missing time. I have 3.15, 4.15, 5.15. And then we have our missing number. So when we want to find that missing time, we gotta look for patterns here, anything that will help us as a clue to figure out what we're missing. So let's look at our hours, just our hours. That's everything before these, okay? So look here, we have three, four, five, which means what will most likely go here? Six, right, it's like we're counting. Now let's look at our minutes. 15, 15, 15, which means that should also stay as 15. So 615 is our answer. Next, we have analog clocks. So we have to make sure that we're reading the time on the analog clocks correctly. So our first clock is what time? The hour hand is between the three and the four, so that means here it is 3.30. Our next clock, the hour hand is between five and six, so that means our hour is five, and our minute hand is pointing to the six, so that's also 30. Our next clock, the hour hand is between seven and eight, so that means that is seven. And the hour, or the minute hand is at 30. And so we need to figure out what's going on here. So let's look, let's look at our hours first. We have three, five, seven. So it's doing odds. So that means that our next hour will be nine. We're counting on by two. What is our minutes doing? 30, 30, 30. So our time is 9.30. Which clock shows 9.30? Right there. Next, we have four o'clock, blank, eight o'clock, 10 o'clock. Now looking just at the minutes, we have zero, zero, zero. One answer choice has zeros, the other has 45. So right away, I know six o'clock is going to be my answer because that also follows the pattern with the double zero the whole hour. Next, okay, let's look at these analog clocks. Our first clock is six o'clock. Our next clock is eight o'clock. We don't know our third clock, and our fourth clock is 12 o'clock. Okay, so our minutes, we notice, are all zeros, so the O clock. So let's look at our hours. We have 6, 8, something, 12. What are we doing? We're counting by twos. 2, 4, 6, 8, which means this would be... 10. So it's 10 o'clock. Good job. Okay, let's look at our next set of clocks. Okay, our first time is 7.45 because the hour hand is between 7 and 8. So it's 7 and it's 45 because the minute hand is pointing to the 9. Our next clock is what time? It's between 9 and 10. So 9, 45. And our third clock, the hour hand is between 11 and 12. So that means 11, 45. Okay, so what's our pattern? Our minutes are all 45. 
And our hours are 7 plus 2 more is 9 plus 2 more is 11. But if I add 2 more hours to 11.45, that would be 12.45. We don't say 13.45. Our hours go back to 1, so 1.45. Next, we have digital clocks, 915, blank, 115, 315. Okay, so we know our minute has to be what? 15, because all of our clocks up here have 15s. Okay, so let's use our scratch pad. We know our minutes. Okay, now let's look at our hours. We have nine, we don't know, one and three. Okay, well, we don't know what we're doing from nine to this number, so let's skip. What are we doing to get from one to three? How many hours go from one to three? That's two hours. So we need to know what number plus two would get us to 12. And if that's not, uh, what number plus two would rather would get us to one? And if that's sort of a challenge, we know that it would be nine plus two would get us here. So nine plus two hours, nine, 10, 11. So our answer would be 11, 15. Next problem, 7.30, blank, 11.30, 1.30. Well, right away, what do we notice about our minutes? They're all what? They're all 30s. So looking at my answer choices, I have 6 o'clock and 9.30. So that means right away I know 9.30 is the correct answer. Next, we're back to analog clocks. Let's. What do you notice about our minute hands? They're all pointing to the 3, which means our minute hands have to be 15. Okay? Okay. So what is this time? It's between the one and the two, so this is 115. Our next time is what? The hour hand is between three and four. 315. Our hand is between five and six, so 515. And we know that this one has to be 15. So let's look. Let's look at our hours. One, three, five, which means this would have to be seven. We're adding on by two, doing our odds. So which clock here shows 715? Does this show 715 or this show 715? This clock shows 645. So that can't be right. So that means our answer is our first choice. Let's try another. Okay, looking at our hour hands, six, six, six. That means our hour hand has to be, I'm sorry, our minute hand. Our minute hand is pointing to the sixes, which means that stands for 30. Okay, so I noticed that both my answer choices are both pointing to the sixes, so that means they're both 30. Okay, let's look at our hours. Here we have 7.30. We don't know. Here we have 11.30. And here we have 1.30. Okay, so we don't know what we're doing to get from 7.30 to here or here to 11.30. So what are we doing to get from 11.30 to 1.30? How many hours? 11.30, 12.30, 130. So that's two hours, which means here would be two hours, and between 7.30 would be two hours. So 7.30 plus two more hours would be 9.30. 9.30 plus two hours, 9, 10, 11 would be 11.30. So which clock here shows 9.30? It's this one. All right, let's try one more. 
Okay, we're going full hours because I see my minute hand each time is pointing to the 12. So that means it's o'clock. O'clock. Okay, now let's look at our hour hands. We have 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and 1 o'clock. What am I doing to get to each of these hours? 9 plus 2 is 11, and 11 plus 2 hours is 1. So to get to this, what would it be? Would it be 7 o'clock or 10.30? It would have to be 7 o'clock. So it would be this one. You did a great job.